Now, let's talk about Load Balancer and Web Application Firewall. No, this is not F5 Big IP. Well, actually, we're gonna have a little review on F5 Appliance. Then, we're gonna talk about Amazon Web Service, AWS Load Balancer, and AWS WAF. This is the first out of two AWS WAF video. First, we will just compare our traditional on-premise load balancer with WAF infrastructure to AWS WAF. Then on the next video, we will do lab demonstration and test web application attacks or web hacking. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host. Name is Dean Armada, and I'm the internet. Action Star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Let's have a little review. We have application delivery controller with both load balancing and WAF capabilities. We also have web servers, which is most of the time running in Linux with web services such as Apache or Nginx. We also have WAF, web application firewall. These are dedicated application-based security appliances. And the most popular WAF, these are produced by the likes of Akamai, Imperva, and F5. And when you say web application security infrastructure, we'll be focusing on the inbound traffic towards the web servers. These are the requests coming from many different clients to access web-based applications. Sometimes they separate WAF and the application delivery controller, or sometimes you can also consolidate both like what you see in the diagram. And as you can see, we only have a single appliance. In this example, this is the F5 Big IP device, and it uses LTM module to load balance the traffic. And we also use ASM slash advanced WAF module to protect from many web attacks. In this example, we have internal network with a subnet of 172.16.0.0.16. And we also have three web servers with an IP address of 172.16.20.1, 20.2, and 20.3. Now, as the client sends traffic to the listener, these are the virtual servers, sometimes we call it VS for short. And in this example, we have an IP address of 10.10.1.100 listening on port 80. Okay, so the HTTP request will be processed by our F5 Big IP, our application delivery controller. It will do the load balancing so it can forward requests to the web servers using the LTM module. Now, the web application firewall is a feature or a separate appliance that uses application-based signature. You can create policy based on OWASP vulnerabilities and would automatically enable necessary signatures based on the technologies defined. This can be web services, programming languages, web framework, operating system, and many others. Again, it focuses on the inbound traffic towards the web servers. Now, let's convert our existing load balancer and WAF infrastructure to cloud-based. This time, it's AWS Load Balancer with WAF capabilities. First, we're going to remove the virtual server. Then, we'll remove the two servers. We'll also remove the internal network. We don't need it. We will be using only Nginx service. And there should be a public network slash the internet between the client and AWS. We'll now add VPC or the virtual private cloud. 
172.31.0.0/16 is the subnet. The engine X server is an EC2 instance with the name hack site for WAF2 and has an IP address of 172.31.2.169. And here is the public domain. This domain can be contacted directly by the clients. Next, we will add load balancer and we name it WAF testing. And here is the domain name. This domain name can also be contacted directly by the clients. As the client sends HTTP request, the load balancer will process it and it will forward the request down to the server. Again, with an IP address of 172.31.2.169. Now, let's enable web application firewall on our AWS load balancer and we will add rules as well. Let's check what happens if client sends a clean and legit traffic. So the load balancer will process this traffic and forwards it down to the server. Oh, good. Now, let's test when client sends malicious traffic. Ha! Huh, look at that. Look at the result. Web attacks such as SQL injection and cross-site scripting will be blocked. Now. On the next video, we'll do lab demonstration. We'll look at AWS Load Balancer and AWS WAF. We're gonna create rules. We'll simulate web attacks. It's just basic SQL injection and basic cross-site scripting. We'll test it if AWS WAF is really working.